King Jam and welcome. I hope you had an amazing week. I know I did. I thought it would be a good idea if we did a card reading this week and I looked through my whole card collection and I came up with this one. The Soul Coaching Oracle Cards. I had some friends over on the weekend and we, we did these and we had so much fun. I thought, why not have some fun with you? Okay, so what we have to do with the cards, we just give them a a little shuffle of course we pray over them for guidance and then we just give them a nice little shuffle and whatever card comes out or presents itself we'll we'll pick that one see this one wants to come out we just pick three and I'll just give you a reading of three cards just as a general reading just a bit of guidance for the coming week shuffle it oh, oh he wants to come out Okay, so the first card that we got was the beginnings card. And believe it or not, this card came up on the weekend when we were doing it. So these cards have two meanings. There's the card meaning and then there's also a message from your soul or soul meaning. So I'll give you both meanings for beginnings. So the card meaning is that a new cycle is beginning in your life. Wipe the slate clean and it's now time to release old and start new again. Your soul wants you to know that life goes on in cycles. In the phase of the earth, the plants die in the fall so that there is a new birth in the spring. It's the universal dance of death and rebirth. There is time to end and begin. And this is the close of one cycle and the beginning of another. Although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, situations, or relationships when they no longer empower you, your soul asks that you, you don't cling on to the old, but you set sail into new waters. Face your fears and allow yourself to stretch in a new direction. Your soul is, at, is on your side and wonderful opportunities will be born in your life. Wholeness occurs when you say yes to both endings and beginnings. The affirmation is I cherish all the cycles in my life. So the next card that we have is love. I'm wonderful, I receive and I give love today and always. Open your heart to receive. Love is on its way, you are more cherished than you can possibly know. It's a day for rejoicing, your sacred vessel for eternal love to flow through. And your soul wants you to know that there is nothing that you need to do to deserve this love. You are enough. Let it flow to you so you know that you are beloved just the way you are. All of your life's experiences are part of the spiritual evolution towards the realization that you are all love. God is love and your essence is love. In matters of romance, all healing is already done. Your beloved is nearby, so be open. Your angel guides, spirit guardians and allies adore and cherish you always and forever. The final card that we drew today is playfulness. So the card meaning is that you need to allow your inner child to play today. Enjoy yourself and have fun. Embrace your innocence. And your soul wants you to know that playfulness is absolutely necessary for your health and well-being. It is important as food, um, it's as important as the food that you eat and the thoughts that you think. If your responsibilities and hard work have made this a low priority for you, it's time to have some fun. Give yourself a break and nurture your spirit by doing something madcap or just plain silly. Listen to music and dance by yourself with glee. Make silly faces, invite your friends over for an afternoon tea party or go out and drive with no destination just for the fun of it. So. That made a lot of sense to me, you know, the first card being beginning, saying that, you know, so you've been through a rough time or a bad patch and things weren't going the way you wanted it to go, but that's done now. Look, and moving forward, 
it's come it's spring spring's coming excellent things are going to happen the future looks bright and that led us very nicely into love so it could be that one horrible relationship has ended another amazing relationship is going to begin it could even be in terms of friendships horrible relationships friendships are ending fantastic uh, friendships are coming or it could just be with yourself you know you've, you've been through a rough part in your life and now you're coming to a better part of your life and you need to learn to love yourself more and of course the last card was playfulness which just means to just kick back relax enjoy life it's amazing and it's what you make it I hope you enjoyed that reading um, and I hope you have an amazing week. As always, love always.